Hey guys, what's up? Lord Herc here. I've got more Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing for you. First, I apologize for how late I am uploading this. I have been late in my filming. I've, uh, to put it bluntly, I've had some personal technical difficulties. But, enough about that. I have a well-deserved unboxing for you. First of all, we have a box of Infinity Chasers. I've been I've been keeping this aside just for this video. Plus, we have two, not one, dual powers to open up. Plus, as you see here, we have the Anniversary Mat, which I also bought to use in this video, and probably the next few videos as well. So without further ado, let's break into Infinity Chases first. <laughs> now before we do any card reveals, I will say that I kind of am chasing after the, uh, the Infinitrax. And uh, what else is in here? Oh yeah, that. And pretty much the uh, reprint stuff. Things like Draco Sack and such. Because you know, us collectors, we always love the reprint stuff. Like, the only thing that we Yu Gi Oh players hate is when really good cards get banned that we love and they even never come back off the list. Hashtag Pot of Greed. Okay, so let's start things up. Confronting the Sea, Spell Absorption, oh, very good generic card for getting life points back. Witchcraft the Drapling, Witchcraft the Pottery, Infinitrack Anchor Drill, oh, secret right from the first pack. I'm not even sure I even pulled this yet. Yeah. I think this is my first copy of this pull. What? How have I... Well, that's a stunning start to my box. Maybe I... Maybe this is a secret god box of pack openings. I suppose we'll open up the rest of the packs and find out. Okay, so next pack. Secret Village. Kato Bo Pass, familiar of Evil Eye. Infinitrack Drag Shovel, Mountain Smasher. Oh, and the Evil Eye Equip Spell. Now, I have gotten quite a few of these, so I could probably build Evil Eyes if I wanted to. But I don't know if I really want to go in that direction. Don't get me wrong, I like evil. But am I that evil? That's the question. Am I that evil? Okay, next. Ooh, spin turn. That's good for Earth Machine decks. We're talking rank 10 trains, katakuris, gears, gigagio, and of course, Infinitrax. Spellbook of Knowledge, oh, a great card for Spellcaster decks. Jurigato, really good generic fiend. Freight Train, Deli Crane, Evil Eye Awakening. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Got some nice pulls out of this pack. Okay, let's move on. Okay, Magician Left Hand, Wonder Wand. Do I just pull a computation on the last pack? No, I pulled something different. So yeah, we got that. Oh, another one of her. Oh, the Field Spell for Evil Eyes. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, just 
just while I'm opening these up, I will say that I did want to upload a uh, preemptive uh, video to the uh, April ban list and also a reaction video. But, <laughs> like this video, that one got postponed. In fact, that one has been indefinitely de delayed until the next list. Or the next list, period. <laughs> Okay, moving up the cards. Cylinder, now the Mountain Smasher, Jackal King, Bound One, and Evil Eye Repose. Mm. So as far as what I was just saying about the uh, this video and such, the uh, the April list it didn't really affect me much. In fact, if anything, it only buffed me with uh, getting that extra copy of Super Poly. Not that I would be using it anyway. I find that if I'm going to use Super Poly, I'm going to use only one copy because for one thing I probably don't have that many copies myself and I'm only going to use them in a handful of decks that really uh, can make use of that fusion engine, especially going into a mirror match by having like generic stuff. So essentially your uh, Lunar Lights, your uh, Cyber Dragons. Maybe even in Dark Magician as well, because uh, like the um, the legendary dragon fusions that you can go into usually with only Tamias basically require well, like Dark Magician and a dragon, and even the, his new one it requires a warrior monster. So it would be good in going up against a number of various decks. Okay, continuing on, we've got a Sky Magician. Oh, we've got Goliath, the Link 1. That's not too bad. Uh, Witchcraft, a collaboration. Astral Force, a rank up. River Stormer. That's another nice one. That's another secret. Yeah, we're actually doing not too bad. Not too bad for this. And only halfway through the first pile. Okay, we've got another witchcrafter. Oh, I think this is the uh, the main boss monster, the attack one. Witchcrafter Hain. Yeah, looking at the points, this must be the offensive boss monster. We've got a crab crane. Another Ketopas, we got Balisis from with Evil Eye and Retribution, Evil Eye Counter Trap. Nice. <coughs> uh, was there anything else I wanted to talk about while I'm opening up these packs? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. I will say that the distributors of um, the local product did drop the ball for Dark Neo Storm. Thanks to um, public holidays, the sneak peek was cancelled. So yeah, no sneak peek. But uh, things are turning around and such. Okay, moving on. Uh, we've got more Magic Cylinder, Witchcraft the Masterpiece, The Right Hand, another Jackal King, Ooh, Trencher. I have heard that he is like a, a staple of free in any Infinitrack deck. Really good card from what I hear. Plus, uh, he, he searches, doesn't he? Oh yeah, he can res a, uh, a level 5 or lower Infinitrack. Aside from himself, of course. Because that's generally how these effects work. Okay, another left hand. Marshalling field, another machine support card for Xyz. Drag shovel. Goliath, the Link one again. Witchcraft, the Bystreet. 
Not too bad, not too bad. Maybe I might even look into making witchcraft. I definitely should have enough uh, support cards for it. Okay, Venetrack Tunneler, Collaboration, Confrontation, ooh, the Phantom Fortress. Oh, and the, the Infinitrack Boss Monster, Megaclops. Fortress Megaclops. Oh, that's beautiful. When it, when it was first reviewed, it was thought that Oh, that monster's gonna be really hard to summon because you need free XC's monsters. But it's surprising how many decks can actually do that kind of thing. Like, I can't remember what any of them are. But they basically just res their XC's monsters from their graveyard and such. Alright, moving on. Another left hand. Arcanite Magician, that's nice. Secret Village. Medusa, Watcher of, Watch of the Evil Eye. Witchcraft a Holiday, that's a nice secret. As you would probably suspect, I already have opened both Dual Power and Infinity Chases before this video. Ooh, that's nice. First card, Draco Sack. Another Pottery, Wonder Wand, Martian Field, and another River Stomper. Nice. Uh, that Draco Sack is beautiful. I love that they reprinted it because before this, it hardly got any reprints. I think it's last reprint was in like an in an OTS or something basically one of those packs that you just can't buy okay on to the uh, the second half of infinity chases before we move on to dual power Okay, next up, Tunnela, Astral Force, Jurigato, Evil Eye Defeat, hmm. and Evil Eye Repose. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> and just to ensure that these are fresh boxes, Hasn't been tampered with. I don't tamper with my my card packs for, in my videos. Everything you see is done live. Well, well, live in front of a camera. Single take. Because I am lazy like that. Like when it comes to more other other video types that I'll have a bit more pride in, like a uh, like skits and such. I will probably do takes and take the time to edit to make it look really nice and polished. But this is an unboxing video. The surprise and randomness is all part of it, isn't it? Whether you're a big yu gi or a small yu gi or a semi yu gi like me. Because I do essentially variety content. It's just that my content lately has been very yu gi focused. <coughs> Moving on, we have Bound Wand, another Spell Absorption, oh, Hidden Armory, I loved when they listed this as a reprint, because this is its first reprint out of its original set. Crab Crane, Cerezo, Watcher of the Evil Eye, nice. But yeah, that Hidden Armory, that is a beautiful pull. Great for any, any deck using the Equip Spells.
All right, moving on. Witchcraft. Skimitra. Spellbook Knowledge. Right Hand. Idel. Hmm. She's like a, the um, number three boss monster in the archetype, I believe, looking at those points. Because she's not the defensive one. She has like 2700 defense. And a Pitori. Nice. Very nice pulls. So I suppose that while we're in the middle of the video, what were your favorite cards, whether they were first prints in Infinity Chasers or Dual Power, or one of the many reprints in either set or both? I'm not really sure if anything did overlay with the reprints and such across them, but what were your favorite cards from these sets that came out or was reprinted? Uh, talk about it in the comments below and no judging and such. Personally, I like that Dracosac and Hinamori are in Infinity Chases and Dual Power my Hand Traps. That, But then everyone's going to say the Hand Traps because the Hand Traps are pro quite powerful, especially the Ash. Like, the ash is insane. Alright. Next card, Marshalling Field. Another Skimitra. Ooh, the King of Heavy Industry. Nice. Another Phantom Fortress. Ooh, an Evil Eye Link. Zerudel. I think that's how it's pronounced. Maybe. It has to be close. It has to be close to how it's pronounced. Alright, let's move on. We still got dual power to open. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit together some video fragments. <laughs> uh. Okay, confronting the sea. Drag shovel, bound one, spellbook of knowledge. It's going up top. Witchcraft the scroll. That's gotta be the first one out of this box, I believe. It is quite interesting that a lot of the uh, the new archetype stuff is among the secret rare stuff. Like I'm, I don't recall exactly what the um, the ratio between the secret rares is of the uh, archetype stuff, as opposed to uh, reprint stuff. But still, it's interesting. Okay, next pack. We've got another Delicrane, another Jurigator. Ooh, Tarnheiser Gate, that's not too bad. Sky Magician. And another Riverstop. I, that's got to be at least my playset of Riverstormer in this box alone. In fact, I think I haven't pulled any of Riverstormer beforehand. So, to me, this has turned out to be a god box. Can we see that in dual power very soon? Because you know we're going into that. <coughs> Excuse me there. <laughs> Alright, next pack. Right hand. Skimitra. Spin turn. Tornheiser. And another rule of evil eye. What I suspect is the boss monster of the evil eye archetype. To my knowledge. Don't take my word for it, I'm just speculating based on his points. But then, I have seen stronger in archetypes. Like... Blue Peeps Ulti Dragon! Alright. Ooh, another spell absorption right off the bat. Magic Cylinder, ooh, another Goliath. I think that's the third one out of this box. <laughs> And a Crab Crane and Pitoro. Not too bad. Not too bad. I am loving this box. Especially the ones that I can use. Like Spellbook of Knowledge in my Spellcaster decks. Spell Absorption for its generic 
life point gaining and especially in spell heavy decks. Deck that would be really good going up against Sky Strikers because they are a spell heavy deck. Why would. Oh, it's not fully open. Sorry, folks, some technical difficulty with the pack, but it's all good now. Another Balasis. I mean. Okay, we'll just call it the familiar of Evi. Delacrane, Sky Magician, Confrontation, and another scroll. That's the second scroll out of here. Nice. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I want to commit to building wi the um, Witchcrafter or the Evil Eye. I almost said Wind Witch. I've already built a deck using Wind Witch. And that's like one of the smallest archetypes in the game. Consisting of only five cards? Like, I think even Time Thief outdoes that by a card. Alright, uh, King of Heavy Industry, Masterpiece, Wonder Wand, Tunneler, Holiday. Nice, nice, nice. Two Infinity Packs to go. You know, in a way, the card set name is a bit misleading because there's not an infinite amount of packs open up. And even if they were, it would take forever. To film an unboxing video. <laughs> so it can't be truly for infinity. <laughs> ah, a little wordplay joke there. Okay, confronting the sea. Arcanine Magician again. Secret Village. Another familiar. And a repose. Not too bad, not too bad. I do like that Arcanite reprint. Might have been even better if they also gave us Supreme Arcanite Magician reprint in this set as well. But to my knowledge, they did not. Because that's basically his next form. Even though he's a fusion monster. Alright, here we go. Last pack of Infinity Chasers. Hidden Armory. Nice. Phantom Fortress. Draco Sack. Love it. Another familiar of Evil Eye. And another Buy Street. So overall that's not too bad for Infinity Chasers. It's been a good box for me. And I hope that you enjoyed watching me open Infinity Chasers. And why won't this trading... Ah, oh, there we go. It didn't want to go in. It did not want to go in. It was being stubborn trading cards. Alright, so, we'll put this aside, and I think we'll attack this box first. Uh, there we go. And before we do get into it, let's just show off the mat a bit. So we've got the six boss monsters across the ages DM, Neo, Stardust, Odd Eyes, Utopia and Deco Talker and the other side featuring Neos and the DM you know my mates and I say that it is a shame that Konami gives us these hard mats when they should be giving us nice mouse pads like this. This is nice. This is hard, like sure, you can fold it up and such. But it's basically just laminated cardboard or whatever this stuff actually is. I don't even know. I'm not an expert on those and that kind of stuff. And as we expected, the promo cards are basically the alternative arts of the boss monsters which we can see there on the back of the box as I'm using the second one as proxy 
All right, so. Let's get into the first box of dual power. Now, I probably have got many more boxes of dual power in my future. Mostly to get Dark Magician support stuff. And maybe other archetype based stuff and generic stuff out of this set. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> I think I just felt a little fatigue. Uh, okay, well, first card of the box, or should I say pack, Vision Hero Violon. Goki Cage Match. Product Plant Office Scorpio. Deco Destruction. Oh, that's a full card for Deco Talker. That's not too bad. Oh, Ghost Reaper! Like, unless you're playing a mirror match, Ghost Reaper's effect, I don't really see them much point in having, unless you can build your extra deck full of, like, generic extra deck stuff, consisting of Fusion, XE, Synchro, and Fusion. Not to mention siding in an extra deck full of that kind of stuff. Just so you can counter certain cards like Cyber Dragon Infinity, for example. Because you know Infinity is pretty good, especially being used in machine decks. Oh, actually, uh, looking at Violon's effect, I can probably use it in a... Uh, a hero deck I'm going to be building soon. Because, as you know, in Dark Neostorm, we got new Destiny heroes, including a brand new fusion with floats and Vylon. Oh, I knocked the camera a bit. <laughs> and Vylon can do things for heroes, including adding a poly from deck to hand. And he can also mill a hero monster as well. So he might be one I might run a, a, a single copy of in my uh, D heroes. So that's an interesting first pack. Let's move on to the next pack. Alright, come on. Here we go. Okay. Ah, the Trickstar Equip spell Magical Laurel. Eternal Soul reprint. Oh, Dark Magic Twin Burst. That's beautiful. Necros of Kalos and Necros Mirror. Let's have a look at his Twin Burst. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Like, I might run this as a one off in my Dark Magician deck. Because I do also run Dark Magician Girl, because why wouldn't you? Okay, moving on to pack number three of my 12. And yes, I'm counting the ones in the other box. Oh, yes! Check out this gold! It's Magician of Chaos! The new Dark Magician Ritual Monster. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. El Shadow Fusion. Small Sorcerer. Righty Driver. And Star Sephiroth Sovereign Eriti. But yeah, Magician of Chaos is pretty good there. So, so far, this, this box has half been open now. And the pulls so far are pretty good. I'm getting at least one really good card in every pack. Ooh, more nice stuff. We've got Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity! Backup, Supervisor, Stardust, Wish, Aromage, Ar Rosemary. Oh, evenly matched. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
Like, I don't use many of my evenly matches, but when I do, it's hardly an even match. <laughs> A little joke there for you guys. Once again, I dare to internet comedy. Alright. Oh, not too bad. Naturia Beast. Ooh, Chaos Max. Photon Advance. I believe this is a new guy. High Priestess of Prophecy and another Ghost Reaper. There's the Nat Beast. That's pretty good. Yeah, because uh, he has like a negates. He has a lot of negates. Against spell cards, that is. Hmm. That actually makes me wonder. Could you activate Nitro Beast in response to your opponent putting Mystic Mine into play? Would that work? Because that's, that's kind of like the whole um, Jinzo versus Call of the Haunted thing. Oh! Hoo -hoo. This... Pack number six has given us some nice stuff. Judging from the first card, we've got the Ghost Ogre. Not too bad, not too bad. Odd Eyes Advance, Fright for Patchwork. Ooh, one of the new heroes, Grand Merge. And, oh, we've got a Lefty Driver. So we've got a, both a Lefty and a Righty Driver in the same box. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I love it. So I suppose my pull out of this box would have to be the uh, Magician Ritual Monster. Okay, let's move on to the last few packs in the second box. There we go. Then I can start editing this video together and then get it uploaded. And yes, I did say editing after saying I'm lazy. But it's only just stitching together the separated video portions. Because that's how my camera's working. All these hats recording part is working. Whatever. Let's get on with the cards. Okay, we've got a high priestess, an odd eyes advance, another patchwork, another grand merge, and we've got the necros of Trish. That's not too bad. I think people would are looking for him. Because I think I know at least one uh, Necros Ritual player. Locally. Oh, second pack looking better. Ghost Ogre. Lefty Driver. Oh, Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. Link Haribo, oh that is beautiful, and a Chaos Form. I never really use my Chaos Forms though, because I find them a bit restrictive. That's why I like using alternative ritual spells. In fact, nice generic ones that work. And no, I'm not talking about an ancient ritual, which lets you pitch a normal monster. No. Because what if you have no normal monster to pitch from your deck? What if you lose use all of your blue eyes or dark magicians. Speaking of dark magician, I had a magician of chaos. <laughs> That's beautiful. Ten of soul, another twin burst, another of this guy, and another mirror. <laughs> now, and I would use the exact same ritual card to summon magician of chaos as well because he is a dark monster. And that ritual spell is contract with the abyss. It's one of a handful of elemental ritual spells that let you summon a ritual monster of that attribute. Oh, hoo -hoo, nice! We just got ourselves a link four here, boys and girls. Bolo Dragon! Oh, Shining Dru! Dark Magic Circle, Chaos Form, Gold Gadget. Not too bad, not too bad. Like, this is not 
it's not really a god box to me, but still, we're getting some decent pulls. The second box, it's decent. But let's see if these last two packs can change our mind. Perhaps give us a god pull. A single god pull. Not that we don't like the Magician Ritual, but seeing as I've already pulled two of them so far, and I'm probably only gonna ever gonna use one at least, well, we'll see. Okay, let's move on. We have another Shining Draw, another Circle, Chaos Form, Gold Gadget, and another Ghost Reaper. So, Gold Gadget, pretty nice. Good to have more of those. Platinum Gadget might be a bit better, because it is a generic Link monster for machines. Plus it does support gadgets in general. Okay, oh ho, I think this last pack will redeem the whole box. First card, Dark Cavalry, another new Dark Magician fusion monster. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the second one I pulled, actually, as well. Silver Gadget, that's beautiful. Xyz Tactics, that's nice. Double or nothing, oh ho ho, Utopia plays. I see, not just Utopia, this is generic. And Miracle Fusion, that's pretty good. So I think Dark Cavalry has redeemed this box. And it has now taken not just pull of the box, but pull of the set. The entire video of packs. Cavalry is definitely going is my vote for pull of the day. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I will try to bring you a uh, Dark Neostorm unboxing as soon as I can. Probably as a... Uh, uh, to make up for not doing it sooner, I might do a double... Dare I even say a triple? I don't know if I would be up for doing a triple. A double, definitely, but triple... Uh... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, also, on a side note, I have uh, slowly been starting to get into the new Dragon Ball tr TCG. I'm already starting to build some decks. And uh, starting to build up a collection, so... Maybe uh, some other TCG unboxings in the near future. Not just Yugi tubing, but also other TCG tubing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, that should be it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.